Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about room sound, because I mean, that's really what we're all about, room sound. You know, gear is important, obviously we need source of energy, but the room is really way more important than people think. I've been doing this for 20 some years, basically since I've been 16, uh, involved in some way with sound in small rooms, and we really need to divide the problem of room sound into two areas, pressure and reflection. That's the definition of room sound. People have all these other ideas about what con the room contributes to the sonic presentation value, but you can break it down into pressure and reflections, okay? The room is a container with dimensions. So we have, you know, 12, 14, eight foot high, whatever the ratios are. And in those ratios, certain energies fit, certain ones do not. Mostly the low frequency here, right? Less than a hundred cycles. So must, most don't fit below a hundred in almost any small room. And that produces so much distortion and it's kind of a, a silent distortion, if you will. I mean, not physically silent, psychoacoustically silent, because you don't know, you can't hear the impact of all that energy not fitting, because it's everywhere, because we have the three sound fields, right? Floor, ceiling, sidewall, sidewall, front to rear. So we have all these three sound fields full of energy that doesn't fit, so the whole room, it's a box, it's a container, is just full of distortions. So when you put your speakers, your source material in the room, you're generating energy that's sometimes compatible with the room and sometimes not. And the, spe and the room itself then turns into a giant speaker. So you don't, you're sitting inside a speaker full of distortion. And that's the best way I can describe it. I wish I could, I was better at describing what you're not hearing, but it's one of those things that you don't know what you're missing or hearing in this case, until you hear a room that's properly built and designed. It's just so night and day. It's beyond the words that I have to explain. I wish I could take the studios that we have here and, you know, send those to you through transport somehow, and you could go into that room and, and hear exactly what it sounds like. And then right away, you would understand. That's all that would need to be done. Well, we can't do that. So we have to work with words. If the pressures don't fit, they're exaggerate and attenuate. That's definition of room modes. And this exaggeration and attenuation, that's the key. Those are the two key variables. Obviously, attenuation, you can't hear anything or only part of that. And in some of your recordings, you, you know what I mean there. Pressure, too much. Layman's terms, bass boom. Too much energy. Frequency response curve, it's always that big bump below 100. Too much energy. The room's telling you that. That's the room's contribution to what you're hearing. And it's bigger than your speakers. It's bigger than you are because it's the whole room. The whole room is a speaker against you, full of distortion. Your little speakers in such a big room, they can't compete. Okay, we'll talk about that later. Reflections, reverberation. It's a it's a real deadly form of distortion. It's like you have a glass of water and the water level's here and, and, and you're here, so to speak. So you just have a little bit to go to, to here. So you, you can kind of hear just below the surface, but in some rooms it's so full. You just, you can't, you don't understand at all the words, the harmonics. So these are modes and reflections and reverb are huge, huge distortions. And they're kind of like, I don't know, silent enemies. If you don't know they're there, you're not getting the physics of it. You're not hearing 
the total sound and you're not hearing all of your music. So reflections are, are a conflict between direct energy and us, right? We have that direct energy and the reflections from the room, when they cross the direct, that's distortion, it's phase. And every reflection chips away a little bit at the direct sound. And pretty soon you're left with something that doesn't even sound like the original recording, no matter on what system you play it. Okay, so what do we got? I know this is true. It's 50% gear and 50% room. I could argue below 100, it's way more room. But for purposes of discussion and illustration and understanding, let's give it each 50-50. 100K system, untreated room, it's going to sound like 50. Yeah, the chalk breaks. There's a reason for that. Sounds like 50. You're only getting half of what your system is capable of. And I hear this every day with people that treat their rooms with our technology. We've got some uh, projects coming up you're, you're not going to believe. Uh, people that are wanting to become dealers for us. So they have product, they're testing it out, which I insist they do. They're going to represent us. You've got to understand the power of the technology. So that's coming down. So stay tuned for that. Room sound is distortion heavy way more than you realize. And we have our gear sound where the resolution is heavy. Gear today is very high resolution. Rooms today are absolutely horrible, the ones I've seen. In the last 17, 18 years, I've seen 10, over 10,000. 90% are horrible. So people don't understand it. But this is what you're missing. So get rid of the distortion in the room minimize the room sound get rid of the whole room is the best idea unfortunately we can't do that but respect this respect the fact that the gear has high resolution and you're putting it in a room that's horrible it's almost like throwing your amp in the bathtub when it plays or your speakers in the bathtub when it plays it's got to play through all that water. Well, the water is distortion. It's a dramatic example, but it's, it's that, you know, severe of a, of a distortion. It's that severe of an unbalance. So treat your room. Just treat one wall sometimes, the wall behind the speakers. That'll make such a huge difference in pressure, not so much in reflection, but enough that you'll be like, oh my gosh. I can't believe the difference one wall made. And that's why we sell our products in groups of four, because you've got to have so much surface area to have that big impact, and that's what you want. You don't want to think about what wall you're going to treat next. It'll just tell you. Room sound, pressure and reflections. I really hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.